Hello everyone, today I'm uh, reviewing this little microphone, very tiny, teeny tiny. It is called, oh wait I didn't write down the name. It is called Comica. Comica microphone for DSLR, for mirrorless, for DJI, for whatever. It's a very tiny little gadget. And uh, I want to talk to you about this. Uh, I, I got this a uh, little microphone about a year ago, I think. Yeah, it's about time for me to review this thing. Anyway, the model number, yeah, I've written it down. It's a CVM VM10 Mark II. I don't know what these letters stand for, but uh, there you have it. I'm gonna put a screenshot as well, so you can see exactly on Amazon uh, where to find it. Anyway, it comes with a uh, black foam wind muff. So. I'm gonna just take this off. So this is the original look without any wind muff. And this is terrible if you don't use any wind muff. It's, it's gonna sound terrible, especially when there's wind. I mean, if there is no wind, it's okay. But if there is any little wind, it's gonna pick up immediately. And you're gonna hear only wind noise and you won't hear yourself at all. So it's highly recommended to use a wind muff. Uh, here's the microphone from the front. As you can see, it is really tiny, really easy, uh, easy to carry, very portable. Uh, so it came with a black foam, uh, kind of muff, very tiny, uh, to to muffle the wind. But that one uh, comes off very easily, so I, I constantly lose it. That's why I simply I just I just throw it away, like because it's so useless, it doesn't stay on. And it also comes with this little uh, dead, dead cat. And this I find this really, really nice. It really, it stays on and doesn't come off at all. It's really tight in here. And uh, it works fantastically. So now I put it back on. And as you can see, it looks very, very nice. I, I mean, it's a very balanced look. This is from the back, and uh, what you're hearing now, hearing now, is me recording this video from a GH5 without any microphone, so it's internal microphone. So I'm gonna uh, put the mic on my GH5 later, and to so you can appreciate the difference without and with a microphone. What's the difference? But before that, uh, before that, I just wanted to tell you that I, I got this microphone because my Rode mic. Go was broken, and I'm gonna show you my road mic go here. It was broken. It's the stabilization thing. It basically, the entire microphone fell off, as you can see here. This part plastic is broken, so I used the glue to glue it on. But anyway, it makes some noises. That's why I'm not using it anymore. It also comes with a. a oh, it didn't come with a dead cat, but I bought the dead cat separately. Focus, please. So as you can see here, the size difference is huge, right? Dead cat is huge. Uh, the Rode Mic Go is huge. It was already a mini version, like it's the smallest microphone uh, Rode Mic uh, offered. Focus, please. There you go. I'm gonna show you the difference, the size difference. Obviously, I don't have the cable on the Rode Mic. I use it somewhere else for my uh, speaker for the computer. Uh, here's the size difference. It comes with this kind of a uh, muff already, so it works already pretty well. And this part is also glued on, so I can't take it off. Yeah, it's uh, the microphone is all the way here, the bone is here. And uh, let me just take it off again, as you can see so that you can appreciate the, the size difference. I mean, to, to be honest, I can't really tell the difference uh, of the sound quality between these two. Like, they're really similar. Like, I'm not that picky, I'm not an expert in audio quality, but for me, this works fantastic, right? And it costs only 50 euro, about 50 euro. And it's small size, uh, super portable. So I, s I would say that uh, this is a much, uh, much better option. Just look at the size. Okay, now I'm gonna mount this microphone on my GH5 and I'm gonna try to talk. 
Okay, here we are. We are with the uh, microphone mounted on my GH5. Uh, there's no wind muff. Here's the wind muff. It is naked right now. So I don't know if there's any disturbance, any air flowing around here. I don't know. But anyway, I tried to vlog with this one time when I was in Rome and uh, without the wind muff, and it was terrible. It was just terrible. Couldn't hear a thing. I'm gonna put put a clip here so you can hear it for yourself, a first-hand uh, experience. That it was so terrible. Rose garden for you. Did you enjoy? Did you like the rose garden? Do you want to come here and see it yourself? It's unusable. So you have to put this on. Alright, so now let's try it on. Alright, so now the dead cat is on the microphone and the sound quality should have improved. I mean if it was uh you know if it was bad before, now it should be much better. Uh, and if there's any wind, there shouldn't be a problem. Uh, that cat is working fantastically and uh, I'm gonna do some uh, different tests as well I'm gonna go out there th just downstairs and do a little bit of running around you know just uh, maybe walk around so it lets you hear uh, how it works by the way there, there's traffic out there there's a road out there so you can already hear uh, the cars and stuff and so you can judge by yourself uh, just for yourself I see if it works well when you're in traffic something like that but anyway, I'm gonna go down there and uh, run around a little bit. I think I'm not in focus. Um, but before that, I'm gonna just turn around the camera and show you how it sounds like when you are behind the camera instead of uh, in front of the camera. By the way, I always use this microphone to record any voiceover for my cameras and events, reviews and whatnot. Uh, whenever I want to record something, I always use this microphone. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, here's my e 7 s 2 beautiful camera that I don't use as often now since I have GH5. Uh, but anyway, let's get down there. Okay, so this is the basement. I'm gonna do a test in uh, this such a narrow space as well. You can hear the echoes and stuff. I'm gonna turn around. How does that sound? Lumix GH5. Alright, now I'm gonna get out here and do some. Uh, action moving around obviously just walking you won't hear any wind, wind noise so i'm gonna do a little bit uh a running let's go running can you hear the wind uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. all right actually i'm uh, gonna point the camera to myself and then run and see how it works like this faster Faster, 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 faster. We are back home. Okay. That's a pretty dumb experiment. Not scientific at all. Um, maybe I should use a hair blower, hair dryer to blow on the microphone. But anyways, if you watch any of my video on this channel, you, you already know how this mic sounds like because I always use this mic. So. All right, so this is the review, and uh, I really like this microphone, and highly recommend it to everyone, anyone who wants to get a cheap microphone uh, with a low budget. I mean, it is pretty cheap and uh, and super tiny, very portable, suitable for big DSLR or small mirrorless, compact camera, uh, whatever you have. I think it's a, it's a very good option. It doesn't really come out very long. So if you have a short lens, pancake lens, um, the microphone won't block the view of the, of the lens, actually. That's another advantage of a small microphone like this. All right, so I'm going to sign off. Thank you for, 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 thank you for watching. See you next time.